How do you rearrange moves again? Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, after I was done editing, I pretty much just went to, I just pretty much just went to sleep. So I kind of forgot a little bit of the controls, but I'm glad I remembered the auto battle system. Um Battle them reap. Thank you. Alright, muddy. Fight the Fight that muddy. Perfect. Nice. So I wonder what happens if you have like an overpowered Pokemon. Like let's say like if I were to bring a Zekrom or a, a Groudon into the mix. Oh, whoops. Time to boogie. That's all I can think of. Ooh, something that's very interesting though is that it doesn't actually use my power points. Um. Okay. Ooh, we speed we speed tied or did much it decrease its speed? Good job, buddy. <gasps> Vile got a level up. Nuts. Go. Deal with the Marie. Alright. Die! <laughs> it's another Mareep. Let's take it out in one shot, pretty much. I don't think we're getting much experience, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see what you tried to learn, though, because apparently it's not giving me... It's not telling me, like, that it wants to do anything. Okay. Ooh, do we want... Hmm, that is a good move. Because if we set up with it, we could do a lot. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I think Tail could be kind of useful. Uh, tackle, not really as much. Yeah, so let's do Toxic Spice so we can set up a little bit. So we can, we could send, we could do, uh, we could uh, use Muddy to set up and then we can switch to, um, switch to Vile. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Nope. to do it all. Poison tail. Really? Poison tail. Nice. I don't even know what EVs these are giving. Okay. Do not throw it at a Pokemon. Auto battle the Marie. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and switch Sprig back into the front. We're going to go and battle up these two trainers over here. There we go. Hi, buddy. I have a legendary Pokemon. Oh. Want to know the way to one of the ten sites of Paldea? <laughs> it's like, battle me first. Sergio of Office Works? Okay. Oh, the Office Worker. Okay. Own claws. We'll do a little bit more testing of the terrestrialize or whatever it is. Ooh. That's a decent amount of damage. Uh, leafage. One thing I want to know is if it's going to be like Mega Evolution, where like you can switch and you can go back into it kind of thing. Uh. Yay. This is a sight I've never seen. Chesto berry. Nice. Oh, a flock of Mareep. Actually, I don't know what it would be called for sheep. Anyway. Alright. Attack the Mareep. Oops. 
Oh no, the Marie is going down. We're eliminating the Marie from this area. Perfect. Is that the Pokemon that I saw earlier? It is. It's also weird though that Sprig hasn't tried to learn like poison powder or anything like that. Time to boogie. What is this thing? Smoliv. Trying to throw a Pokeball at it. It's such a small olive. Chunky wants to learn Mud Shot. No. If you see a learning moves or forget older moves, they can learn it again by opening the main menu. Yep. So it's just like uh, Legends of Aussies. Grass normal. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna give it a nickname. Yeah, I'm not really giving nicknames to ones that I don't want to use unless, like, uh, unless they're a shiny, of course. Right, so I'm gonna put, a sh put move the shiny over to its own special box over here. I kind of wish though that day and night encounters were different, but so far it seems like I'm just finding the same Pokemon. But then again, it is night, so. Alright, I didn't get to catch your name. Noah the student. Okay, Noah. Ooh, you have a bug type. Hmm. I want to see how much bite does though. Ooh, nice. Alright. I'm just not gonna read what the next Pokemon is. So it keeps that like illusion. Just after they switch, I'm just gonna have to click B though, which is <gasps> Sprig! You hurt my Sprig. You better be disappointed that you hurt my Sprig. How dare you do that? No, I'm trying to find out if there's like a sprint button for him because it seems like he can go much faster than this. So this is literally how fast this guy can go. Um, hello. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I talked to destroy. Can you heal everyone, including this uh, Koraidon that I have? Oh, you got another one? Oh, okay. So it's like where they're normally like, sort of like, bound kind of thing. Can I find a flying type that's like, a new Gen 9 Pokemon, please? actually lead anywhere oh oh so they do have something that you can use to see the climb okay and why didn't they do that with the first one then doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose electro ball i'm guessing this is the tutorial that thing right there is probably the tutorial to what those kinds of things are I have a feeling that every Pokemon has a Terra type, and the ones that you can get through those in particular are probably like, they have a type that's not really their own. Oh. Ooh. It's a Gimmagool. Interesting. Okay. I don't really want to hit it. It's going to throw Pokeballs at it. Go, Pokeball! Oh. 
I mean, if you're just going to stay in. I don't know what I'm going to name this thing. If I can use it. Chest form. It's got different forms? No, I want to see if I can actually use it. What? Well, what's going on? <gasps> Sprig's evolving! No! Why? Why do you do this to me? At least it looks really cool, though. Why is it that the Pokemon games don't want things on four legs anymore? I got 50 coins? To what? That's it. Oh, okay. That was weird. That was weird. I was trying to get the ladder, but it's just like, nope, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna throw you off. Kind of reminds me of like mini games that have something similar. Like I roll over and I'm like, whoops. And then it just goes, yep, yeah, you're going to go splat now. <laughs> Anything new over here though? Like any new Pokemon? Like any new Gen 9 Pokemon over here? Maybe a Cyclozar. I hope that it's a dragon type at least as one of its typings. I don't really necessarily care if it's a normal dragon, just as long as it's a dragon typing. Something like that. I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot to check. Uh, Gimmagool. Are you by chance... ...found in a different route? No, you are not. Okay, what's your ability, though? I was gonna say Intimidate, that's really good. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. It doesn't really have any good moves, though, unfortunately. Ew, what's a great ball? Must, must be a trash uh, ball, man, because we, because pokeballs are so far like god tier right now. I'm just gonna try and keep these Pokemon in like in order if we caught them in, except for the shiny, because the shiny just deserves its own spot. <gasps> Imagine if you find this as a shiny. So is this like a Rotom kind of thing for this area? I mean, Rotom is a ghost type. So maybe ghost types can just inhabit, like... Well, I mean, it makes sense, but, like, still, like, you know what I mean, though? Like, it'd be cool that we have another one. Oh, it's a Diglett. Wait, time to test out how good Sprig is at... At, uh, boogieing down now. Now that it's got two legs. There we go. I didn't really get to battle, but that's because, like, it was... What's that? Oh, that's a Cricket Hot. I do think I care about Cricketot. I don't really care about Cricketot. Come on, Sprig. Sprig, you catching up? Ooh, Sprig's catching up. Ooh, what's that purple one? Uh, if I know Sword and Shield... Oh, no, wait, maybe it's just because it changes color? Oh, it's because it changes color. I was gonna say, if I, if I know my Sword and Shield, if there's a different color one, it means it's stronger than normal. I hope that if you lose, nothing bad happens. Like, you lose, like, all your money or something like that, because, uh... I don't want that to happen. I just want to explore. Whoa, wait. What is that? Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, what is it? Ooh. Uh, all around Paltea, you may spot gleaming crystals, emanating brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a Terra Raid battle and try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. In Terra Raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful Terra Pokemon. You battle alongside faraway friends while you're in online mode, or nearby friends uh, while you're in offline mode. These battles will pit you against a Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. Ooh. It looks like it's just a vile pup, though. For the 
But by oh, what we need by elf. All right, time to see how good Sprig can boogie. All right, potent claws. Looking pretty good. Okay, so far Sprig can boogie down. I could definitely lose myself into playing this game a lot, but it'll be more more so just grinding around and just seeing how everything is. But Ooh. Ow. Fight again. Time to boogie. <laughs> Time to boogie. Let's go eat it. And <laughs> that makes sense. Wait, did that? Did it try to, like, bark at me? Because, <laughs> you know, I'm definitely scared of you. <gasps> what is that thing? What are you? Time to boogie down. It is a not knockly? Knackly? I don't know. It's level 11, so it's decently leveled. Time to throw a Pokeball at it. I have a feeling it's rock type, and if it is, we need it for the gym. I think rock is super- 